Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I am super excited because I have some brand new goodies from Erin Codron from the upcoming Back to School launch to share with you today. I cannot wait to dive in and share all of these with you. I am a mom to three little kids, if you don't know, and Back to School and Back to School organization is very much my jam. So I'm super excited to take a look at the new Erin Codron back to school line to incorporate some of these things into our back to school routine. And of course, to share all of that excitement with you. In addition to sharing these lunch goodies, I have a lot of back to school stuff planned for the coming months as we get ready to prep for a new school year. So if you have any questions about back to school prep or anything in particular you'd like to see, you can feel free to leave it in a comment below here or on any of my videos between now and then. So some information about the upcoming back to school lunch and about these products and then we will dive into the video and go through everything here. These items have not launched on the website yet they will be available for purchase July 6th for Erin Codron Insiders and then July 11th for everybody else but the Erin Codron Insider program is free to join and it lets you accrue points and gets early access to sales and other great rewards so if you haven't already signed up for that I definitely suggest it. In addition to the early access to these items EC Insiders will also receive double points if you shop between July 6th and July 10th. Erin Codron did gift me with these products to review and share with all of you so thank you so much to them. I can't wait to dive into everything in this collection. I am part of the Erin Codron affiliate team, so if you are shopping this launch or any other time on the Erin Codron website and you want to use my link, I've got that linked down in the description below. Using my link doesn't cost you any extra or change your shopping experience anyways, but it does help support this channel, so I super appreciate it when you shop for my links. With that disclaimer out of the way, I'm going to jump right in. I have one new planner here. That is the Academic Planner. There are a couple of new planners launching with this launch, including a new homeschool planner. Unfortunately, I do not have the new homeschool planner to take a look at, but I do have one of the new academic planners. I've also got the kids activity tracker over here, so we will take a look at that as well. In addition to the planners and the kids activity tracker, I've also got some new markers here, including the new dual tip dot markers, which I am so, so excited to try out. So we will definitely be doing a full pen test on those. I've also got some new accessories from the line and some dry and wet erase stuff over here. There's even more than what I have that's launching with this back to school launch, so definitely check out their website for more. This is just what I have, which is a curated selection of products. It is not everything that's launching. So let's dive right in and start with the new academic planner. This is a seven by nine coiled planner. It works with the interchangeable cover system. Mine came with this new vegan leather cover. This is the Harbor color. Really, really pretty grayish type color and I actually don't have this color. Some of the other vegan leather covers, I absolutely love these. These are one of my favorite additions to the Erin Codron line in this past year. I just think they work super well and they feel so luxurious and they're just really, really beautiful. But any of your regular seven by nine interchangeable covers are also going to fit on this planner. This one is actually customized. This is actually the first time I've seen the customization on the vegan leather covers. This one just says goal and it's done in silver foil. So you can get these blind embossed or you can get them embossed with a foil silver gold or rose gold so you can get it to match your coil color which this one does here. This planner starts at $40.50 depending on what coil you choose and some other upgrades you can do to it. Uh, the price may go up from there but the base planner is $40.50. Overall it's similar to the life planner but it's designed with students in mind and actually the pattern on the inside here is unique. You open it up there is no vellum it just says academic planner and then you get right into it. So you can kind of see the floral pattern that is the academic planner motif. In here, this is an August start planner. You've got your 2023 and 2024 here at a glance there, again with the design, which is like this floral design on the top, but it's different than the wildflower design that's available in the life planners. And then you have some scheduling stuff that is unique to the academic planner. Well, you first you have your heritage and observance dates, which are in all of the planners, but then you have a section here that says class schedule and it's got space for semester, start date, end date, time, course name, teacher, location, credits. So this could be used, I think, for college or high school, I think is probably the target. I mean, a lot of this looks like it's targeting college, but your high school may 
work on a credit system. Mine did not, but you know, the schedule still works and the course name and the teacher, all of that would kind of work the same either way. And you could just repurpose that or ignore it. Uh, and you do have space for two of those. So if you are gonna use this for college, it does have space for both of your semesters, assuming that your university is on a semester system. You have a notes page on the back there as well. Then you get into your monthly planning sections here and this one is August so we've got this really pretty purple color on the tab for August and here is the floral print it says you are capable and worthy and you get in and you've got a classic Erin Codron monthly calendar this is layout wise the exact same as what's in all of the life planners in the seven by nine size the difference here is the design and it does have these florals and again this really pretty purple color for August there after the calendar which again is the same as the life planner the next set of pages is different in the academic setting so you have over here a dashboard page that's got a space for goals and you've got a space for five different goals and five different events and then some notes there so just what are your goals for the month depending on where you live August is part of the school year or not so you can get all of your back to school goals into the page over here and then it has space on this page for any projects and exams so you can put in uh, up to four projects and exams that you've got going on in this month. I don't know whether that's like a lot or a little. I feel like to me, thinking about this from the college, well actually even high school or college perspective, I feel like for August that's probably fine. You probably don't have that many exams or projects due like right the first month of school, but as you get into like kind of midterms time or finals time, four would definitely not be enough because you probably have a final project or a final exam for every class you take. Uh, yeah, yeah, so some months that's probably gonna be enough and some months you might need to like tack in a sticky note or something like that to expand that system or repurpose some of the notes page for, for more of that. I do like the way that this works though. It's got a space for description, deadline, class, details, important dates, Im important dates, and then a space to mark off whether or not it's been completed. Then you get into your actual weekly overview. Uh, and like every Erin Codron planner, the color change happens with the month. So you can see that the July is like a corally color and purple is for August. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip to the all purple page here so that we can just look at the nice same color, same color week here. And it is a horizontal layout, but it's divided space and lined. I love this layout. Even for Life Planner, I think this would be super, super functional. You also get like a really good chunk of space for Monday through Friday, and then a little or amount of space for Saturday or Sunday. Makes sense because again, this is an academic planner, but you know, you might have homework on the weekends. So your horizontal planner, so your horizontal layout is divided into three sections. You've got two smaller sections on the ends here, one of which is just plain line. One is a to-do list with seven to-dos, and then you also have larger blank section in the middle. For me, if I was using this as like an actual academic planner, thinking about myself in school, and also thinking about how I use my planners, I would probably do any like deadlines or things do big events coming up on the the left hand side so like if I was on a sports team and I had a game or if like I had a big homework assignment due I would put that in there and then I would use the middle section for any like notes key reminders or smaller things that are due like for example I feel like when I was in high school I had math homework due almost every day so I would maybe put in my, what my math homework was there instead of putting it in the big section because I know for math I'm going to be turning in something every day but you know, another class like English where maybe I have a paper due once every other week or something and I'm not gonna remember that, you can go that in here. And apologies if this is completely off base, it has been quite some time since I was in high school. Anyway, and then on the far right hand side, obviously you've got your to-do list so you could put any work that you're working on for any homework assignments, etc., in that space. So again, you have that same layout Monday through Friday here and then Saturday and Sunday, you've just got two little sections here, one that is just blank lined and then one that is also a to-do list. 
So that is gonna repeat. This is a dated planner. When you get into the a day with a holiday, the holiday is printed just right really small above the day. So it's really, really subtle there, which is really nice. And also this planner on the weekly pages, even though this planner is very vibrant and colorful and has lots of florals in it, on the actual weekly pages, it's very, very neutral. You just have a little splash of color with the month and you could easily cover this whole thing up. Use stickers in here, wash tape, highlight lighters, whatever you want to do. I really think that this layout is also really, really practical. And I, yeah, I think that this is a great horizontal layout. And I think that this would work really well for a student. So then at the back here, you've got a, some extra line notes pages, which again, that's super nice because if you have notes to take, you not necessarily take like class notes here, but you could use this to write down any assignments, more information. If you didn't have enough space for your class projects and tests at the back, uh, anything coming up for the new month, like all kinds of reminders and things like that. This is the perfect place for that. We get one, two, three, four, and then five pages of notes in the back. And then you are on to September, which is this like bluish purple color, uh, kind of like cornflower color, I guess, reminds me of a darker version of one of the wildflower colors. Uh, then you have the same format here. The calendar runs continuously. So the end of August, that Sunday was the 27th. So this one starts right at the 28th and you've got the August, September split over here. Uh, and then, yeah, it just kind of keeps repeating from there. Same format for all of these. And I will just show you all of the colors and also the cover pages for each month. So here's October in this gray color. November in this really, really gorgeous, like goldenrod color almost. I don't know, it's like a yellowish brown. I really like that color. Uh, and then December is like a muted mauve, pinkish tan color. And uh, we are challenging, we are challenging the depths of my color name knowledge. Uh, January, we've got this coral color. February, purple. So I think that these colors repeat. Yeah. So February is the same. February is the same as August and then March as September. Then April, again, that this harbor, this gray color, which I'm going to call harbor because that's the name of the cover, but that actually does match pretty well with the cover color. Uh, and then May, June, Lots of classic EC quotes in there and a different one on either on every month, uh, July. And then you actually do get August again. So August for next year. So this is actually a 13 month planner. Let me just make sure you get the weeks in here. Yep, you get the weeks in here as well. So that's perfect because actually if your school year starts in September, like the way mine does in this area or the way my kids school year starts, uh, that's kind of perfect because then you have this to like close out the year or you can start your new planner. And then at the end there, you just get some extra notes pages, like a couple, two extra notes pages on top of what you got in the other sections. And then it says, good things are coming, little back cover there. And then you've got one page of stickers here, looks very specific to the academic planner with some exam, test, read, study guide, no class, midterm, quiz, paper due, study, and vacation. And then uh, in all of the colors that match the monthly colors. And then the bottom one on each one is just like a blank label. So you can use that on your monthly calendar or on your weeks to do that and then again you have your same back cover again you can choose what cover you want uh, want when you're ordering these I believe you don't have to get this specific vegan leather cover uh, although this cover is absolutely gorgeous and that is the seven by nine academic planner so really excited to take a look at that again I really just like that weekly layout a lot I think that's really really cool I'm not a student and it's gonna be quite a few years before one of my kids is ready for this but it was really fun to take a look at. Next up, we have the Kids Activity Tracker. This is also a seven by nine notebook and it's got the kids coil, as I like to think of it, which is just this clear plastic coil. A lot of their kids line stuff come with this. It's really durable and sturdy. It's a little bit smaller and yeah, it's just perfect for the kids stuff. I've got kids notebooks from Erin Codron for, for my two big kids and they also have come with these like clear spiral notebooks. This does look like it's a regular seven by nine sized cover. So your cover will fit on those coil notebooks, but also you can use this and swap this into your planner. This one is just like the clear plastic 
classic Erin Codron cover. This, this activity tracker is $15.50. And just like glancing at this, like while I do think a high schooler or someone could use this, I do think that this is targeting maybe a slightly younger kid. This is starting to veer a little bit more into my kid's age, although probably my kids are still just a tiny bit too young for this, but it is undated, so I can always save it. Uh, my oldest is starting second grade in the fall. So it says my activity tracker. The tabs here are colored. We just have red, orange, and yellow, but they are uh, unlabeled. So first up, we've got a little thing. It says my activity is when I started, when I do this, where I do it, supplies I need, my favorite part, and skills I want to learn. So just like a little section where you could write out, like I think we're going to start uh, Girl Scouts or rather brownies in the fall. So she could write, my activity is brownies. I started September 2023, whatever year this is, uh, when you do it, where, etc., etc. And then we have, oh, it keeps going from there. My goals for this activity, what I can do to make it happen, help I might need, and who can help me. And then you have another page of that. One, two, three, four, four, space for four goals of that. So this super cute little writing prompts for kids. To me, this looks like it's targeting kind of upper elementary to early middle school years, like maybe in that like third to sixth grade range when they're kind of still excited to write out stuff like this. So have a little bit more activities and have the kind of skill set needed to fill this out. So really looks really, really fun here. And again, you can tell me if you disagree with that assessment down below. I know that there are some older kids that would really love this and like, I mean, even high school me would probably have been jumping all over this. But again, I've always been a planner person. Uh, uh, okay. But anyway, after that, you've got a skill tracker set. So it says, use these pages to keep track of the skills you learn and the progress you make each week or month. So then it has space to list out a skill and then starts at red and goes to green on this side. So you could do some kind of proficiency. So uh, like if you were playing soccer, you could do this for like passing or dribbling and like, you know, I don't know, assign some sort of rubric. This would also make like a decent kind of chore chart kind of space or habit tracker kind of space as well um, if you need more things to track in here. And then this one actually starts at like a teal green and goes to purple. And then we have an activity log. Week of this week was rated on a scale of one to five or zero to five. What you practice, what you accomplished to keep practicing and fun moments. I actually think that this would be my kids uh, are well, except for the baby, take piano lessons. So I think this would be a great way to track track that, like, you know, to have them assess themselves for a piano. Um, so you get a bunch of these, 26. So you get 26 of these activity logs, so enough for half the year. And then you have another set little section in the back here that says today was a big day, date, Today was game, meet, tournament, recital, performance, show, exhibition. So like if we had a piano recital, you could kind of write that, write down what songs you perform, what, how it went, what you did well, a little space there. You could put a picture or something and a favorite memory. So you've got a couple of these as well in here. So eight of those, and I just really love this. I think one, this is a great way to teach like planning, organization, and life skills to younger children. And then two, I also think it's a great way to teach like journaling and reflections to children and just like to also to celebrate things that they've accomplished and done well. So I think this is a really nice product. I, even if it's not something you're gonna use every week or every day, it's like a nice project to sit down with them and do this style of journaling and to check back in with activities periodically and see what's going well. So, okay, so I think then, then this repeats and it's got, yeah, so it's the same thing. So you have space in here to keep track of three different activities, basically, uh, a red activity, an orange activity, and a yellow activity. So you could uh, write down on little labels or use like a, a Sharpie to label these with what activity it is. And then the sections are the same. So, you know, you could check, like I said, piano, Girl Scouts, and soccer, if those are the activities that you do. Um, and I just, yeah, that's really, really cute. Uh, and it's just a fun little thing to keep track of for your kids to keep track of their activities. And again, I just feel like 
but this is a really good way to teach like those kind of life skills planning that are going to come in really ha handy when they start to get into those upper middle school and high school years and they're suddenly a lot more responsible for their own homework assignments and keeping track of their own schedules and things like that it, it's good to have this kind of foundations i've spoken about this a bunch but i my first memory of planning and of having a planner was in fourth grade when they gave them to us at school. And it was just like a little, you know, plastic bound little thing that they had printed, that the school had printed themselves. And we were supposed to keep track of our homework assignments and class notes in there. And then our parents had to sign it at the end of the week. You know, by the end of that year, I was like, this is great, why I need a planner? And then when we didn't get them the next year, but at that point, you know, I, first of all, that was like peak Lisa Frank days. So I was all in on that. So I had my Trapper Keeper and schedules and planners. And, you know, by the time I finished high school, everything was color coded and I never really looked back from there. So it's a really great way to build skill, like organizational skill sets. Doing things like this with your kids is a great way to build those organizational skill sets. And who knows, maybe you are also raising a future planner. All right, now let's take a look at some of these fun new accessories and then we will jump in to the markers. So first up, I've got this really cute acrylic thing. This is a tablet stand and organizer and this is $27.50 so it's got a big pocket here in the back, two smaller slats and then again here something to keep your tablet on. I'm not 100% sure where my iPad is right now but uh, I have this which is actually also from Erin Codron. I got this at Go Wild. It's like a little planning pad and this uh, everyone always when I'm showing when I am looking at this everyone always thinks the case it's an iPad so we'll just stick that there. Um, so you have this, you can stick that on there and then you can like look at your iPad. I also think putting something like a planning pad on there, it's really great because then that's also, you know, standing up on your desk. I realized that this is a little bit hard to see, but yeah. So I really like this acrylic stand thing. I actually might use this this week because I'm thinking about getting this set up. Uh, and then you have some space in the backs to put like your pens and markers or whatever else you want to put in there. I think your phone would probably fit in one of these as well. No, um, I, I have a f the 14 Pro, so that is just a little bit too big. If you had a slightly smaller iPhone, it would fit, um, but it does fit in the back of that section there if you want to put that in there. And I did check, like, a 7x9 planner is definitely not going to fit in there. Nor will your A5 planner, but an A5 notebook will fit in the back section there. So if you have a slimmer A5 notebook, that'll fit, but your planner is not going to fit in there. Then again, you could also use your planner on the stand here as well. There are some other acrylic things that are coming out. This is the only one I have, and I believe all of these are available in, like, plain clear acrylic or this color acrylic, which I usually go for the plain. I think if I bought it myself... I would have purchased the plane, but I actually love this and I might have to start getting more colorful acrylic stuff because that's really fun. It's just a really nice like teal with purple and I, I just really, really like that. So I'm gonna move that off to the side on my desk and then I've also got one of the lunch totes here. So these lunch totes have been around a while. Uh, this is just a new pattern. You saw that it was also uh, a new cover pattern and I've also got a pouch in this pattern as well. There are some other, other new designs I believe uh, in addition to this checker box one and this is $24.50 and it is a it's an insulated lunch tote so uh I've never had one of these before actually but I mean we have lunch boxes for the kids obviously I don't really go anywhere for lunch um it basically it opens up like this it's got plenty of space in it you could put ice box on a lunch and it then it just it velcro closes and it actually, for washing and stuff, it's really easy because you can actually fully un-Velcro the whole thing and just like widen it all out into just like this big giant piece of tinfoil looking thing. And then you can kind of see what that looks like on the back. You've got the pattern there and then the rest is just pink. So I really like this. I think it's really cute. If I were going to an office or something, I would potentially use this for lunch for myself. If my kids were older, I would maybe consider using this for lunch for myself. However, for me, for my age kids, for how small they are, having something that zips and closes completely is com is like extremely essential to me because I just feel like otherwise you know lids don't get closed all the way uh, things happen and I would rather just have a fully zippered lunchbox this also um, I do think this is a really good size but 
uh, just, yeah, I, I think I just, for the kids, I would prefer something to zip. That being said, I will definitely save this because I usually take an insulated bag of snacks with us when we go out to the playground or for like a beach day, something, or if I was ever going out to, you know, need a picnic lunch with me or whatever, I will definitely use this. I think it's really, really cute, very practical. Next up, we have this really, really cool new pouch. This is the five in one zipper pouch. Right now it says it's available in two different designs and it is 20 650 so it just looks like this basic kind of rectangular pouch but then when you unzip it it's got all of these little mini pouches on the inside so then it's got four little mini pencil pouches basically on the inside and they all velcro in all of these are also zipper pouches the zipper is purple and super cute and you can also pull these all out and just use the bigger pouch or you could pop in just a couple of them or you could pop in all of them. Then you can just slot these all back in and then kind of zip it up. It's a pouch of pouches. So it's kind of similar to their accordion pouch in philosophy, like basically having a bunch of different compartments all stored together, but it's just like a little bit of a different take on it. And I actually really like this. I really like the shape of this. And then it's got like a little handy uh, handlebar on it as well, handlebar strap, whatever you want to call that. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm a really big fan and I, I prefer this material, uh, to the new canvas pouches they've been doing a lot. I, I like this like more traditional pouch material. It just feels like much more washable that, uh, than me. So this is really great for pens. You can also use this for like makeup or toiletries. Um, I think this one in particular would be really great for both of these because again, you have all of these little individual pouches. So you could do like crayons, colored pencils, markers, uh, pens and pencils, but you could also do, you know, brushes, lipsticks, eyeliner, whatever. I don't know. I'm not a huge makeup person, but you know, divide up your stuff, divide up your toiletries, your makeup, or your school supplies, which I am a big school supplies person. So anyway, that is the little zipper pouch. Then we've also got these sticky notes here. This is $16.50 and these are 3M sticky notes. So at least they're supposed to be. Yeah, they are post-it 3M sticky notes. So these should be really, really sticky. I know sometimes when you say Erin Cardron sticky notes, people will tell you that they don't stick, but it really depends on the individual sticky note product from Erin Cardron. Again, some are 3M and some aren't. These are 3M and the 3M ones are typically very, very sticky. So anyway, on one side here, you have this, it says important. It says today, tomorrow, later. And then it's got all of these little flags on it. Uh, and it's in like this really pretty kind of pink to teal ombre oh, with some purple, purple to teal ombre. I don't know how you want to phrase that, but it's very pretty. And then uh, like kind of matches the acrylic color scheme as well. This is kind of the color scheme for this release. Uh, and then it also has this one here, which says today, it's got space to write the date, top priorities, five bullet marks, and then like a little blank square to write whatever you want on it. So we can kind of grab one of these tabs here, stick it down, give it a shake. Yeah, feels nice and sticky there as well. So that is the little sticky note thing. You know I love sticky notes, so I'm really excited for these. I think this is a really fun little sticky note set there. Um, and I, I do like having like all, I, I use the like these page flag type ones quite a bit, so it's nice to have those as well. Next, we have this repositionable whiteboard. This is gonna be a little bit hard to show. I will do my best here, because it's quite large. Um, okay, so let's see. So it came with a cardboard backing, which I'm gonna move out of the way and I'm gonna look at this. And then it also has the instructions on how to do it here. Okay, so I think it's got an adhesive backing on it. It's not like the MC Square stuff where it's like, it just sticks to something shiny. Oh no, that actually does feel kind of like exactly like the MC Squares backing. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I was thinking this is gonna be sticky, but it's not. So it does say it recommends saving the back backing in case you wanna store this. So it's got a list of surfaces. It's recommends to stick it on and not and but it says you could put this on a wall which the MC squares stuff which is uh, if you don't know what that is they make like reusable repositionable dry erase stuff and I have a lot of their stuff uh, I use their calendar for meal planning and different things that sticks to any shiny surface doesn't have to be metallic or, or magnetized but this actually says that it sticks to kind of any surface and then you can uh, still reposition it but the back feels the same it does not feel adhesive or tacky um, 
and oh yeah I actually feel that like I just dropping this on my desk you can feel that it's like sticky let me like you can kind of get kind of hear how it's sticking I'm gonna stick this up on the wall of my office right like next to my desk and I will pop that in right now and show you what that looks like so that you can see that it's sticking As you could hopefully see from the video that I popped in, this did not stick to my regular painted wall, but it did stick to anything that had a coat of glossy paint on it, including my Ikea cabinets, this desk, and also my door. So I could stick this to my door, but I couldn't stick this to the regular wall. It also stuck to a magnetized board that I had, a dry erase board. It sucks. It sticks to the fridge. I would rate this compared to the backing of this compared to the backing of MC Squares, which again, I you know, if you haven't used that, I'm sorry for that comparison, but it's just something that I use all of the time and has like a very similar and is like overall a very similar uh, design or product. This is slightly more sticky. So the MC Square stuff kind of sticks to the glossy paint, like the door slash the cabinet, but it's not a uh, like a really secure firm stick. And likewise to the desk, it does not firm stick to this desk. Whereas this EC one does but in terms of like sticking to glass like windows or your fridge or a mirror or anything like that both the mc squares and the ec stuff sticks really beautifully to that and this does not damage anything i did again stick this on a glossy door it doesn't peel paint up it's not it doesn't feel tacky at all on the back so i love this technology again i use these boards a lot and i'm really excited to have this i also I was a little bit worried when i couldn't stick to my wall because i was thinking this would be a great thing to keep next to my desk but it sticks to my door so you know what that is actually where I'm gonna put this what it has on it is it's got a Monday through Sunday calendar it's got the watercolor stripes in the background which if you have been around you know that's like one of my all-time favorite Erin Codron patterns so much I love this pattern it's yeah I have a lot of stuff in it uh, and then we've got the Monday through Sunday it's also got a slot here to put a to-do list in so this one that it comes with it says to do to buy and it's just a plain to-do list but any of your four by nine list pads should also fit in there so this is one that I had from the fall so you can uh, I think you can re remove this it requires some wiggling it actually feels like yes you can remove it when it's done but it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit tricky to wiggle it out and I don't think I'm gonna be able to wiggle it out without like separating it but you should be able to replace it with a new list pad if you wanted I actually might even have a watercolor list pad in there I'm gonna leave this one in here for right now this one does it's this paper has like a more grayish tint to it and it's like the thinner kind of paper rather than actually it's not that thin rather than like the bright white of the dot grid from like the customizable list pads that I have and then down here you've got a section that says reminders so I really like this I've actually wanted one of these for a while but never quite enough to buy one so I'm excited to have this and this is $38.50 I can't wait to try this out possibly even this week and then uh in terms of other wet erase stuff I've also got these reusable index cards um, so this is a really interesting idea I think this is meant like you know if you were drilling Spanish verbs or uh something else uh, again channeling my high school days uh, we've got 24 reusable index cards so you could use these as a study guide here and the back just has like this plain like white with that little asterisk pattern and then the front is just like this kind of this is the colorway for this launch so it's that same colorway and we can actually just grab one of these to test the wet erase markers that I have from Erin Cadron and then after that we will last but certainly not least test those dot markers this set of index card is $12.50 and here are the wet erase markers that I have. My price list here does not say how much these are so I will try and get a number for you and put that across the screen if I can. It's just three markers, uh, pink, yellow, and teal and they actually they have like a really good weight to them. Um, so we will test these out. Uh, I was just thinking about these index cards. I think these are super, super cute. If you like this idea though, you could also definitely make this yourself if you have a laminator um, and just laminate this and then you can use those lamination sheets as dry erase wet erase. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, these are like super fine tip and you charge these the way that you charge uh, like a paint pen. So you give it a shake and then you, you know, uh, kind of hold it down until 
kind of press down until the ink is flowing. There we go. And then you have your markers. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen this fine a tip on a wet erase marker. That it, it like really, really looks like a pen. It's like very, very fine tip. So these all say Mona Me on them. So I don't know if that is like the brand that makes them for EC. So this color is called Watermelon. Really cute. I always find um, <laughs> it's a little bit hard for me. Like this surface is like so slick and I, I'm, I, it takes me a minute to like remember how to write on something so glossy. This is sea foam and dandelion. Ignore the fact that I tried to make that an A. Um, okay, so this is that and then, I mean, okay, so then once it's dry, it's like very, very smudge proof and it actually feels like it has like a little bit of texture. While it's still wet, it's definitely going to smudge a little bit. Uh, you have to let these dry. They are wet erase markers, but again, it's not going to, you know, as long as you let it dry, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty secure. So that's actually pretty good for that. So and then you can also write on this side of the page, just showing you kind of what the marker looks like on the you know if you're writing teal on teal, that's not necessarily gonna be the best. But if you're writing in the middle, things look good there. And then as far as cleaning them goes. I've got just like a little rag here and some water and they just wipe off super, super clean. So again, reusable, study for your test and then instead of tossing out your index cards, you can just wipe them clean and use them again later for something else. So that's really cute. I really like those wet erase markers. Those are, yeah, those are definitely really cool. I'm gonna see if they have some more colors of those um, because I do use wet erase markers a lot. I use, uh, I really like the MC Squares ones as well and I use their calendar, but these are super fun. These write more like a pen than a marker, which is really nice. So if you're like a gel pen user and you've got something wet erase, I think you would really like these markers. Then at long last, I've got my swatch book. Let's go. Erin Codron Dual Tip Dot Markers. I can't even tell you how excited I am for these I feel like the planner community has been asking for this forever so this is a dot marker on one end on this end and a highlighter chisel tip on the other end so uh, yeah basically I'm very excited for an exact match so right now we've got five colors also the colors names are printed on the barrel which is amazing so this is seafoam denim I can't see what this is, um, but they, uh, they're printed on the barrel, which is so nice. So, okay, seafoam, denim, lilac. This is going to be cherry, right? Oh, blush, rust, and bamboo. And Erin Padron has said they're not able to print the names of the markers on all of their markers, but whenever they can, they will going forward. They have heard the community. They know that people really like that. So whenever it is an option, they will be doing that and they were able to for this. So again, I'm just really, really excited and also a little bit nervous to test these out. I really hope that they, that I like them. All right, so let's start here with the seafoam and we're going to start with the dot. That is the color swatches and the dots all tested out. So a couple of things. One, I love these and I'm so happy they exist. I hope these start to come in more colors. I also hope some more brands start trying this. I think having the chisel tip highlighter and the dot marker on the same pen is such a fantastic combination. As far as their overall function, the both the dot and the chisel tip are pretty stiff. A couple of them like this, the teal and I think the rust, yeah, well, as soon as I pressed down on them a little bit hard, the like dot kind of receded into the pen a little bit, but they still seem to work fine. It's a little bit difficult to get the differentiation on this marker, um, but I do think they'll like kind of loosen up over time a little bit. It's not as squishy as a Zig Clean color though. And likewise, the chisel tip is not as squishy as a Zebra Mild Liner. 
whether you prefer that or you prefer a stiffer highlighter, I actually think that that one's just a personal preference uh, versus like the Zig where it's much easier to get a size differentiation on that because of the squishiness. That being said, a stiffer dot, it's gonna be a little bit more consistent. The tip of the chisel is actually also a little bit smaller than the than a zebra mild liner which i can tell because this is this is a stencil i have from christian designs and this is like sized for a highlighter but you can see that this is uh that this is just like a little bit smaller than the highlighter space i mean that being said you can you know kind of use any ruler to to trace your highlighter line. And I do think that these all work really well. The colors are all super, super pretty. This one, I don't know why this play highlighter is called blush. It is a hot coral and it is like fairly neon. Uh, it's like kind of one of the least blush pinks I've ever seen. So I'm not really sure why that's called blush. But other than that, they all seem appropriately named. They all match to their barrels fairly well. Again, this one is like a little bit more neon and a little bit more coral than I was expecting. But otherwise, they kind of all look like like their barrel colors so pretty easy to distinguish which one is which and I'm just super excited for these I'm definitely gonna be using these in my planner like immediately I uh, really really just cannot wait and I feel like these are gonna be extremely extremely popular so hopefully that is the case and then hopefully they start coming in more colors because again I just think that this is a fantastic idea so this set of six by the way is $16.50 so overall extremely similar to the way other Erin Codron markers are priced and that is everything Thing I have from the new Erin Codron back to school line. Thank you so much for watching. Are you going to be shopping this launch? If you are, let me know what you're going to be picking up in the comments down below. And if you are shopping and you want to use my link, again, it is down in the description below. And I do really, really appreciate it. Stay tuned here for more planner fun coming your way and also more back to school fun coming your way. I have so much to share and I can't wait. So don't forget to subscribe for even more of that. You can also check me out on Instagram and TikTok at My Crafty Plans for even more planner fun, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!